Top 10 Things to Do in Amsterdam, a 2023 travel guide by TripAdavidu.com It's not an overstatement when I say that Amsterdam is gorgeous. The architecture is beautiful and there are so many colours to be found throughout the city. The streets are clean and the people are friendly. It is a city that is full of life and energy, but it is also a place where you can find peace and quiet whenever you need it. If you've never been to this place and you're planning a trip here, I will tell you all the things that you should know as well as all the places that you can visit when you're coming here. So don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel for more videos like this. Of course, this video is brought to you by tripadabidu.com, the premier platform for booking tours and activities in this city, and they are the proud sponsors of this video. Interested in travelling? Click the link in the description below. Believe me when I say that there's no better place to go if you want to experience everything that Amsterdam has to offer than this lovely place. So what are you waiting for? Here are the top 10 things you should do in Amsterdam. Number 10. Canal Cruises Amsterdam is known for its beautiful network of canals and has a canal cruise, which is a great way to see the city and learn about its history. You have many different canal cruises to choose from, ranging from short, one-hour tours to longer multi-hour tours that cover more of the city. Some of the cruises focus on specific themes such as the city's architecture or its history, while others offer a more general overview of the city. Canal cruises are a relaxing and an enjoyable way to see the city and are suitable for all ages. They are a great option for visitors who want to get a different perspective of Amsterdam and learn more about its rich and varied culture. Number 9. The Central Station The Central Station in Amsterdam is the main railway station of Amsterdam, the capital of Netherlands. Located in the city centre, the station is the busiest in the country, serving as a hub for national and international rail travel. It is also a major transportation hub with connections to the Amsterdam Metro, tram, bus and ferry systems. The central station was built in 1889 and has undergone several renovations over the years. It has a grand neo-renaissance style large central hall with arched windows and a clock tower. The station features a variety of amenities including ticket offices, shops, restaurants and information kiosks. It is also a popular tourist attraction with many visitors passing through the station each day. Don't let the fear of no guidance prevent you from travelling. Just by visiting tripadabidu.com, you will be definitely guided anywhere you wish to travel. And of course, like and subscribe to this channel for more videos like this. At number 8, we have Anne Frank's house. The Anne Frank house is a museum located in Amsterdam, the Netherlands, dedicated to preserving the memory of Anne Frank, a young Jewish girl who wrote a diary while hiding from the Nazis during the World War II. The museum is located in the building where Anne and her family hid from 1942 to 1944. The museum is located in the centre of Amsterdam, near Canal. It is open to the public and receives over 1.2 million visitors each year. The museum is housed in the building where Anne and her family hid and it includes a reconstruction of the annex as well as exhibits about Anne's life and the history of the Holocaust. The museum also includes a bookstore and a cafe and hosts educational programs and events for visitors of all ages. It is an important cultural and historical site in Amsterdam. It serves as a tribute to the enduring power of Anne's story and her message of hope and tolerance. Would you like to go to this place? You can do just so by visiting tripadabidu.com where you will definitely be guided anywhere you wish to travel. To help us sustain this channel, please like and subscribe for more videos like this. And now we go to number 7, the food. Trust me when I say that Amsterdam is known for its diverse and delicious cuisine with a range of dishes and flavours to suit all tastes. You don't believe me? Try this troop waffle a sweet syrup filled waffle that is traditionally served with a cup of coffee or tea. Another popular Dutch treat is the poffer taste, a small fluffy pancake served with powdered sugar and butter. In addition to the traditional Dutch fare, Amsterdam also has a variety of international cuisines including Indonesian, Surinamese, Moroccan, etc. The Indonesian food is particularly popular in Amsterdam with many restaurants serving dishes like satay and rondong satay being grilled meat skewers and rondong being spicy beef stew. Number 6. The Amsterdam Walking Tour A walking tour is a great way to explore Amsterdam and learn about its history, culture and architecture. Amsterdam is a compact city with a pedestrian friendly layout making it easy to explore on foot. Walking tours are a popular option for visitors to Amsterdam as they offer a unique and immersive way to discover the city. They are typically led by knowledgeable guides who can provide interesting facts about the city. Walking tours are an excellent way to get off the beaten path and discover hidden corners of the city that you may not otherwise see. 
They are also a good option for visitors who want to discover the city's local culture and meet new people. Number 5. The Bloomin Market Have you ever been to a floating market before? Or oh, you haven't? Amsterdam is just the place for a very famous Bloomin Market, also known as a flower market. It is the world's only floating flower market, making it a popular tourist attraction in the city. It is known for its variety of flowers, plants and bulbs, including the famous Dutch tulip. It is a great place to find a range of flowers and plants from traditional Dutch varieties to more exotic species. The market also sells a range of flower-related products such as vases, pots and gardening tools. There are many stalls selling souvenirs and other gifts such as tulip-themed items and Dutch Delft fare. And the best thing? It is open every single day. It's a lively and a colourful place with a festive atmosphere with a wide range of flowers and plants to choose from. At number 4, we have the Red Light District. The Red Light District is an area in Amsterdam known for its legal sex work related activities. It is located in the city centre within the canals and easily recognisable by its many red lit windows. It is a popular tourist destination and it attracts many visitors each year. However, it is important to remember that this is a residential neighbourhood and the people who work there are just people. Visitors are expected to behave with respect and sensitivity towards the people who live and work in the area. Mind you, the red light district is not just about the sex work. The area is a home to many small businesses, restaurants and cultural attractions. It is a vibrant and diverse part of the city. Overall. The red light district is an important and an iconic part of Amsterdam history and culture and a must visit place. Number 3. The Houseboat Museum Who is up for an adventure on a riding boat? The Houseboat Museum offers a unique and immersive look at the history of houseboats in Amsterdam. The museum gives you a history of houseboats, the people who have lived on them and the various use of houseboats throughout the years. If you are worried about not being guided, don't be. The museum offers guided tours and education programs as well as a small gift shop. I am telling you, the Houseboat Museum is a fascinating and an educational attraction that offers unique perspectives on Amsterdam and its rich culture. It is a must see for anyone interested in the city's unique way of life and connection to the water. Number 2. Amsterdam's Weather You say you want to go to Amsterdam but you are wondering about what the weather is like there. Well. Amsterdam has a temperature of maritime climate with mild winters and cool summers. The city is in the western part of the Netherlands near the North Sea and is prone to wind and rain throughout the year. In the winter, temperatures in Amsterdam typically range from around 32 degrees Fahrenheit that is 0 degrees Celsius to 46 degrees Fahrenheit or 8 degrees Celsius. There is an occasional frost and snow in Amsterdam. The city can be quite wet and cloudy throughout the time of the year with frequent rain and fog. However, in the summer, the temperatures in Amsterdam tend to be cooler than in other parts of Europe. There is an average of 68 degrees Fahrenheit 20 degrees Celsius in July and August. This city tends to be less rainy in the summer, but it can still be cloudy and cool, especially in the evenings. At number 1, we have Jordan. Jordan was originally a working class neighbourhood, but it has gentrified over the years and is now home to a mix of residents. It is a lively and a vibrant neighbourhood with a range of restaurants, cafes, shops and cultural attractions. One of the most famous landmarks in Jordan is the Noorderkirk, a 17th century church which is now used as a venue for concerts and events. The neighbourhood is also home to Westerkirk, a beautiful 17th century church with a tall tower that offers panoramic views of the city. Jordan is also known for its weekly farmer market which takes place on Saturdays in the canal. The market is a popular destination for locals and tourists with a wide range of fresh produce, flowers and other products on offer. There is no doubt that Amsterdam is a beautiful city with a lot to offer to anyone who visits. From the history to the art and architecture to the street markets and amazing cuisines, it is a city best experienced by walking through its cobblestone streets. We hope that this guide has helped you discover some of Amsterdam's natural beauty as well as some of the more popular tourist attractions. If you want to level up your experience, visit tripitabidu.com so that you can get the most out of your travel. Also, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to the channel so that you are always updated with our life-changing content. Thank you so much for watching and see you in the next video.